Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video where we are talking about React TypeScript Tailwind and all about the React uh, concepts like the hooks, context APIs, Redux, Redux Toolkit, all these things I'm going to add in my coming videos. Till now we were talking about mainly about the Tailwind, context APIs, common hooks and we were building small small apps, right? The learning you can learn things when you start writing the code you and you start writing the components in coming videos i will also cover redux i mean i have already tons of videos on react redux but i need to give one simple example so that i can build react redux toolkit react redux typescript react redux toolkit so like first we will talk about react redux then we will talk about react redux typescript then we will talk about react redux and we are we will start using redux toolkit how it is different from the simple uh, redux uh, react redux we are writing okay so couple of four or five videos i'm going to add in the same playlist so stay tuned and keep watching so in this video we are going to build something like this okay i mean it's, it it looks like something interesting but it's very simple design we are going to build a header and we are going to build this product list component okay the, this video the the primary focus is to make you familiar with the tailwind concept like how to style the components and the components we are writing in the react typescript okay we already have some mock products so we are going to display them in this ui landing page okay we don't have like routing and all these things we are just going to mock something and then if you have it you can build your own shopping cart components okay so this is getting installed that is fine we have we are going to have two components first of all you can see we have like lot of catchy colors right lot of colors we are going to use so i will just put those colors in the theme in my tailwind config i think we already have a couple of colors already defined so i will replace them and we are going to use some other colors here and we don't need a screens and we don't need a background image so i will just replace these two sections in from my tailwind config okay and container uh we can specify i mean we can also customize the container and what i will say is container is default center true why is it not closed Okay, center true and variant we don't need to worry about variants so I just wanted to add some or you can say some colors in the tailwind inside a theme colors uh, we don't even need the container but let's keep it so all these colors I have so when I want to apply them uh, what can I do is bg uh, egg white bg uh, golden tenoy bg hit pink all these soft stone tree poppy all these like custom colors nothing more than that and here we are going to have two components so this is my app.ts we are going to have header component and the shop component okay so the static header if you see we have just a home shop a blog contact so but we have to design the header how the header looks is going to look like we are going to have some static data i can put that here inside inside this folder data and here i can say is appconst.ps and here i can specify okay const header menu and there i have an array and inside this i have a link or label something like this label is let's say home then i do have a link forward slash for that header menu items why it is complaining const and we can just do export const and similarly we can also define like uh, other menu items oh, sorry for that
of contact FAQs and couple of more and we also have some products which we wanted to display so export const we can say product and product has like okay thumbnail link title id so i already have a mock product list that contains the set of products so we can just directly assign this we are exporting products and the header menu items okay these are the constants now we can start talking about uh, the component design so first of all we will take a look on to our header component header dot tsx okay app const is this so we'll start working on the header component first okay here we will change it to header and then we will write jsx for this we will use tailwind utilities all these things so first of all in the app.tsx we are importing both the components right so here we can we can add the required classes like uh, it's going to be inside container we are because container mx auto and why we need container because we need we are not using the full width so it's just like container and there is a margin from left and right equal margin so it's mx auto and then uh, some other global styles you can add like font semi bold here i'm using font sense background here this is important so background i'm using egg white and box is border this is the box sizing okay and then i have header component uh, let's call it is header and then let's call it as a shop dot tsx so we have two component new bar and shop and what i will do is i will also create shop dot tsx this example doesn't showcase any any react concepts or something like that it's all about okay how you can use the tailwind utilities for building the ui so this is a shop component and we will fill this later okay and we move to the app.tsx now we have everything we have the new bar we have the shop component new bar is header let's start designing our header component so header component is important right it has uh, some kind of a small logo and then i mean we are not passing any prop types but we have already seen how to define the typings we are not using prop types these days because now we are writing react type script you can define the i props uh, interface define the types and all these things it is just a simple functional component okay let's talk about this i'm talking about this particular section header so header is it's like flex flex row and then uh, inside a flex row i have a, uh, two items horizontally aligned one is the logo and one is the the new menu items i can fix the width of this one okay this is going to take only the 30 percent of it and rest of is the logo and the rest of this is a space okay so how we can do it so grid uh, we are in the header already so we can just say is okay we are going to use the grid grid columns grid grid column one grid row one it's a single row grid and here we can have um, three columns let's say this is also designed like this it's a grid row one and we can divide it into three columns or let's say two columns this will be justify left and this will be justify right okay let's play with this so here what do we have 
flex flex column no flex flex column 2 if I divide this into the two columns right we can set a height to 32 this is grid not flex grid column 2 I divided the header into two column structure okay then in the first I do have a logo this is all about the logo I have so here I will put SVG I already have simple SVG so we can just put the SVG inside this div okay so let's format this so this is our first item in the column and we can just add the the classes so, okay this is the flex make it items center all the items are aligned center and justify start because we do have only two items and first item will be that the justify start another item will be justify end. that can be our logic okay this is another div we have we will remove the SVG here we are going to iterate onto the menu items which we have defined in the constant file flex item center justify and let's do it like this and here we are going to have the menu items so it's like a UL ally kind of scenario so we can actually convert this into UL instead of div and then we can create all the li tags and li tags what they will have just a simple anchor tag okay inside li we have to add the classes all the the effects but for now let's clone it and try to see the outcome what output we are getting and we'll just run the application so what we did first is the flex grid row we divided the flex grid row into the two columns okay so this is the grid with row 1 we divided into two columns with the fixed height 32 first item is at justify start I mean at the end of the at, at the starting of the row and this is at the end of the row and this is a UL ally I mean just a menu items okay we will just add some margin padding uh, and that will be done so li and we will just add a class names here we will add the class name and the class name will be uh, horizontal px3.5 or px3 font is bold text we can say 2xl xl or whatever the text we wanted to put okay and some of the the transition effect we will add that later but this is the minimum requirement okay text should be large then you can add a hover effect so it should be home home contact FAQs I mean you can iterate onto that array and just do a map onto that and uh, you can display all these menu items now rest all the things is okay how do we display the items I mean we just need to use these some transition classes like is in out transition so this is like very easy like you can you can create some kind of a transition is in out that I see in the tailwind right we'll apply for the first one and then you can also add a hover effect so once you do the hover the text color should change and whenever you do the focus within 
or hover all these effects you can apply so this is like a text color we have defined in the tailwind config okay so this is pretty much about the header header design and uh, what else we can see is okay with this can also be a part of header i think so we have the logo we have the header <clears throat> i think we do have this shopping bag this we have to add this somehow in the header only or this can be a part of uh, your main landing page but this can be designed because uh, this is we have to put some margin from the left and we can adjust this okay now we can see something coming up but this doesn't look good let's see what happened so it's always good to inspect the styles okay this is our body this is the container margin auto then this grid column one grid was divided into two columns 532 this is the first and this is second okay they are not coming up in a same grid as the two different columns okay i think we did mistake here it's columns okay that's it we fixed it right so now we just need to fix the the hover effect and change our code so first of all this is columns and we need to just update a couple of styles right a couple of styles for our uh, links ulli so that we can have the appropriate effects and then next thing we are going to do is design our landing page and currently we are hard coding these items but that is fine because the objective of this video is to talk more about the tailwind classes because we have already covered a lot of things about the react react redux and all it's all about the tailwind classes here we also added some transition effect and save it okay now we'll go to our shop component shop component is uh, nothing but it is iterating onto the items here we need to we already have a constant file there we have some items which we can render okay so we'll start adding this and here let's have this as a grid inside that grid how should we design this so first of all this is the box right inside this box we have the breadcrumb we have so this is like a row right which is the three things the the heading the breadcrumb and some kind of a pagination and sorting some kind of option and then we have these items below to that so let's design this first of all we have to cover the breadcrumb first the whole body so the shop shopping cart is we can consider that as a grid grid row auto okay and then we can decide okay we are going to put a single column grid okay so here uh, grid row auto i'm going to put a single column grid grid columns one and if you see below to that we have grid column three i mean there are three items we are putting so i can divide this into something like this there are grid columns three So first we will work on the breadcrumb. Okay, this is the single column, and here we do have a lot of things. I mean, it it doesn't mean that it is going to be divided into the first single column. Inside single column, we can have a grid, and then that that further grid can have a three columns. Okay, one is a breadcrumb, one is a label, one is the shorting options. Okay, so we'll design that here. First of all, do last name this is the first single column and here we are designing this box 
this particular yellow box okay what is this and then i mean how how can we uh, use the gradient classes so for that we have to use the gradient classes provided by tailwind i will talk about that so it is like what is the height first of all height to let's put height 96 and shadow we have so we have shadow for that box and we have margin 8 let's say and it is rounded from the corners so it is rounded what else uh, what other classes we see we can add rounded and we can also add a padding from top is let's say 12 padding is 12 okay and then we also need to add some background gradient classes vz background gradient to r uh, that these classes i'm not sure i have seen this we will check what will be the effect of this okay so we already have some classes right we already have specified some colors for that we will just specify this and from the tailwind documentation we will see these all are the colors we already specified this color tree poppy uh, golden tannoy all these colors are already there so these colors are helping us to build the gradient okay now this whole section i'm talking about this whole section can be divided into three columns so again do class name grid grid columns grid columns three and items are aligned as a center it is items okay if you do the typo the class will not be applied sometimes i'm adding additional div i think this is the only tricky part rest all it is easy the class name div grid now inside this grid we have three things first we can actually add a breadcrumb okay that breadcrumb is nothing but uh, some set of links which you wanted to add after that there is a title so this section is going to be divided into three parts first is let's say div class name and div class name uh, let's put it as a font bold okay inside this class we do have all the the links so what i will do is uh, we can create simple fragments or uh, there is a breadcrumb we can have a constant array and then we, we simply have couple of uh, items here let's say anchor tag ahref So we can add couple of items in the breadcrumb okay this is the first section then second section is something like you just need to add a font bold this is text center text is of 4 excel font bold text center and font is bold and we have to add simple title title is let's say shopping cart okay and then third section is we just have couple of uh, searching sorting options so this is the third div inside third div we have we can add it as a flex because it's going to be a couple of items are there so flex flex justify and because we are end adding them to this just end of the row items center all the items will be centrally aligned this class is very important item center and then we have couple of span tags and all uh, here let's say showing one of three i will just hard code the, these labels like showing one of 40 
this can be added inside a span tag and you can add the, the classes also okay so what classes like the you can add the font font bold px8 horizontal padding and then similarly all the other span tags which you see you can add here sorting options right so we do have a selected drop down after that so i will just add a selected drop down here we do have a couple of options this can be a part of span tag because this is inside a flex right so we are adding a selector drop down i mean i don't write this much raw html but let's do this quickly options we are adding so there is option value and option so a couple of options we can add let's say one two three four and we can just add some dummy drop downs So you can see if this is inside a flex i do have a two tags span tag first and this is another span tag right you can arrange all these things here now i will just arrange this and we will see this in the output and just reload this okay are we good i don't see a breadcrumb here but i see the content okay so it's all about how we are aligning the layouts right so this is a grid auto first is a grid column and it is taking the full width i mean everything is taking the full width that is the concern here we should can we put this inside a container container mx auto okay there is no effect of this I think we override the container that may be the problem now it starts showing something the rounded border the gradients okay so what was the display okay this gradient is not getting applied I mean this is fine we don't see the breadcrumb on the left hand side let's say we inspect this thing I mean this gradient is displaying quite nice we do have all the options like the drop down and the showing options so the first gradient is for bold okay we don't have anything so we can add something here and gradient is home something like this okay now we will see what is left and we reload this and we see some kind of a breadcrumb these can be clickable links now we just need to display the products okay i put this as a container but this should not be a container inside the container because we are putting the background for the whole body section So we need to figure out because this is inside a container i think the whole body is having this background okay we can just do it a simple fix we go to app.psx uh, and we can have another div where we can set this background i think this container is not getting applied so what we will do is go to tailwind config and we will remove this thing maybe we override the containers in that case we have to actually whatever we are overriding and it should inherit whatever is there 
for the container okay now it's it works right i just removed the container property and we got what we need we need to check the tailwind documentation for that what wrong we have done i think we haven't extended the the existing property we are just setting the container should be text align center align center for here to make them center we are using mx auto okay now we can add the products so this is our product component okay so now we have something up and running now we have to show the products right so we have already have the grid decided for that we have to just create the product tile so for that i will just create a component tile dot tsx or product tile dot tsx based on whatever you wanted to add and i already have a products so i will get those products from data app const so i already have products i will import them inside this component inside shop component on the top import products from i need to go outside inside data and then there is a app const okay and a product is an array so i can iterate so what i can do is simply products dot map products dot map product and here we can just create a fragment inside that fragment i can render the product tile component and i can just pass the product so this product is of type any um, we don't have an interface created so i'm just putting any for now and here we can just create a fragment so i can just pass it's better i write fragment because i need to pass the key okay fragment key is product dot id and fragment closing and now i need to actually create product tile component okay so why it is looking like this okay it should be named import import product tile from tile component why it is still complaining okay it is fixed now i'll copy we'll create a tile component our focus is more on the tile component so i will just this is the functional component we are not doing any data logic i'm just writing html here and i'm liking it Some, sometimes it's better to write html and play with the styles okay so here inside the shop component we also have to put some decision like okay this is a grid column 3 we have okay grid column 3 we can also add some margin for padding it's 80 padding top 80 and we are passing the product right so product tile we have to create the props for this product tile component so type so we can just create its interface interface i props and here we have product of type any and this is going to receive the the props and here we are receiving product 
okay and we'll play with this product because now we have the product data this is our shop component now we are receiving the the product types product payload here and we'll just clean up this jsx and we'll put our stuff inside this okay we, we are getting the the product object now it's all about how we design this style right so i mean there are different ways we got the product object so product object contains a lot of things inside it so first of all we divide this into grid row 4 grid row 3 when I mean, it's already divided into three three columns now we are talking about this particular component so it is divided into three columns or four rows so let's see we are divided into four row grid row four margin eight rounded it's rounded right adding eight shadow is there and it's like uh, we have a radial background and there is a border also border to radial background okay these are all tailwind utilities which we have added now what we have done is we have divided this whole particular item into the four rows inside a grid right grid row four so we'll talk about one by one so division class so this is divided into the four rows so we have actually the four items to be to align inside this so i mean we are overusing grid it can be simplified with simple columns so grid column one inside first row we have a one column item okay so it's something like uh, we can iterate this this is the columns one we can iterate this four times because we have a four rows okay and we will just distribute the items whatever we see inside these okay so let's say we have some kind of icon here and then we have the product image i will start working from the second row where we have to display the product image so here we have a image src some image we are getting product dot uh, i think it's already a product dot thumbnail product dot thumbnail and we will add some class names okay like class name is a fixed width we can add width is 100 okay so this is our product image okay then we have all the all the other things okay we are adding actually all the things are text center here we can also add that text center and here we can say items center and then the third third item is third item i think we have some kind of a label to be shown or some kind of a link so we'll just add the those link items that's inside the third div and similarly we have fourth div and fourth div also it's a text center and we just we are just displaying some price <coughs> or the product so this is how we have designed a tile so this is the product dot title product dot link okay let's see the output okay this is going to be three grid structure it's still saving i think or it is breaking so we have product title we are exporting this shop component is using it we are returning this array it should render what is happening let's see a products products is an array of items product is an array of items i am iterating on to this thumbnail link title id 
So I'm passing the product, the same product object. This is the product tile. I got the product object as a props, product or thumbnail. All these things we are getting. Is it like we are getting the product empty? Maybe. Let's see this. Okay, I restarted the app and then uh, we do see components. Okay, the whatever like we have six products, we need to fix the alignments and all. So this is text center. This can also be text center. Okay. Justify self center. Okay, everything is centered. Now we can also add some buttons if you want. Like uh, we can use this grid to add a button like add to cart, remove from cart. And we can add one button. So we just add the class names matching with this. So we can have padding 8, margin 2, rounded, and what else? Uh, width is let's say 24. So this is the button we have added. Add to cart. Uh, let's say width is full. Okay, and BZ is background. We can say gray 300, or we have to use the, the colors we have. What all colors we see, I can steal some colors from here. Uh, we were showing some colors like say tree poppy. Uh, you can check from the tailwind config which color you like and then I will add it okay so this is kind of our tile component and I will just add the and we can also set text gray 300 and text excel font bold okay I don't know we have to add a border and margin I can reset it to 1 px it's better than if we put the horizontal padding okay this looks better okay now what we need to do is uh, we need to move it to about to this gradient right so what we can do is let's go to our shop component and we can do the negative uh, padding to the top so this is this is how it is working we have to put margin top negative 80 i mean we can make this box little small and then we can also add some hover effect a lot of other things we can do it's all about the the proof of concept I wanted to show case here with the react tailwind type script and this is all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching.